Hey, what's happening guys? Vega here from Sorpenex Special Forces and I either did something really stupid or really smart. Now I'm sure there's other videos out there covering uh, a similar topic to this, but you know how um, lately, and I say lately but it's been happening for quite a while, where users or consumers would buy a flash drive and it says it's you know a two terabyte, one terabyte hard drive and there's only one manufacturer that I'm aware of, Kingston, that actually makes that type of capacity drive and it's pretty expensive but these consumers are buying these hard drives at a cheap rate expecting the capacity but it's really a scam and uh, if you try to write that much data to that storage device it will either corrupt the data or just overwrite uh, previous or existing data well similar to that I want to test out this guy now this is a, a Chinese manufactured um, the manufacturer is called Viseki. It's a 240 gigabyte SSD. Uh, it runs on, uh, I believe it's the MLC NAND, uh, which is basic, you know, that's the typical consumer level. It's not enterprise, so we don't need a single layer. So it's a multi layer cell uh, NAND storage device. It's a typical 2.5 inch SSD. Supposedly, the write speeds that they're stating on the ad and this is from Wish right so Wish uh, not exactly known for quality products but cheap products and then shipping takes forever so it's a catch-22 I just wanted to test it out so read speeds projected 450 megabytes um, and then writes 360 so I'm going to compare this against the Samsung 850 Evo. It's a 500 gigabyte model, but should be relative uh, for the testing that I'm going to be doing, even though this is only a 240 gig, uh, to kind of compare the write and read speeds. Now, implementation. Uh, I plan on using this for a mining rig. Not anything serious, because if I were going to game on this hard drive, I'd probably fill it up really quick, because games are take a lot of space nowadays, and this is only a 240 gig. Uh, but if you bought a SSD like this from Viseki or a Chinese manufacturer, will it perform? Will it do good? That's what I want to answer in this video. And another thing is I noticed doing some research on these guys that uh, most of the components utilized is actually Scandis. So they usually use um, some well-known vendors to make the components, but they just rebrand it. So as we know, Chinese, uh, the Chinese market has a lot of rebrand components. And it does look like it comes with uh, some mounting hardware, a little manual, I guess you could say, in Chinese, uh, some screws to mount it to a hard drive cage of some type, and then here's the actual thing. So the model number is the V800, yeah, V800, Viseki V800, and if I took this thing apart, because I saw it in, a, in another content piece, it's actually uh, some Scandis chips in here and just typical SSD light so we're gonna test it out my main rig do some testing of the the performance uh, talk to you a little bit more about the product and compare against where I seen uh, this particular product and how much I paid because I only paid uh, a total of 32 dollars put with, with shipping it was 20 24 but with shipping and brought it up to 32 and that's coming all the way from China so I had to go to customs so I can understand why the shipping brought it up that much um, did have to wait a while for it, but main aspect is how does it perform? So let's find that out. I'll bring you in, switch you over to the computer, show you my results, and then talk a little bit more about the device. All right, guys, now we're back on the main system. I already have the Vasky SSD installed. Also got the Samsung 850 Evo right here, uh, which I have done some comparison or benchmarking before I swapped it out. Uh, the main website for Vasky uh, talks about their components. And most of their components, as I said, are from known vendors that we know, like SanDisk, where they, um, you know, rebrand the product. They have SSDs and memory modules, and those memory modules, again, are just rebrands uh, for both, you know, laptop and desktop platforms. Um, no special software, right? So Samsung 850 Evo, we get the Samsung Magician software. There's also firmware updates that we can utilize, uh, but we don't get that with this uh, particular manufacturer, the Chinese manufacturer. 
Um, memory speeds go all the way up to like 2400 megahertz from what I've seen. I don't see any higher than that. If you want performance memory, obviously you want to look at known, known manufacturers that we, we know well, G-Skill, uh, Team, so on and so forth. I, I don't want to name them all. Uh, they also offer uh, NVMe SSDs, uh, SATA protocol, uh, not NVMe SSDs because NVMe SSDs are the faster ones. SATA protocol or SATA SSDs are what VASCII offers. Um, ranges anywhere from 240 gig to I think it looks like 240 gig was one of the highest. I believe there's a 500 gig, yeah, 500 gig regular 2.5 inch SSD. Um, looking at the price it is now, I paid 24 plus shipping, so that brought me up to around 32. Whereas if you buy it now on Wish, I don't know if it was a discount or what. I pay, uh, you would pay 34 plus shipping, so I'd be around 40, 42 dollars, depending on where you live. Uh, the performance numbers that they showcased on the ad, though, was around 450, 460 read, and 360 or 370 writes. Uh, comparable to the data that I got, um, you know, on Samsung Magician, uh, my reads were around 400, uh, and my writes around 360. Same thing for ATTO and same thing for Crystal Disk Mark. Uh, but keep in a look at the temperatures over here on the right hand side of the screen. The temperature always sat at 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, I don't know if there's something wrong with the thermistor, the temperature probe, or what. Uh, maybe it doesn't even have one in it and it's just a fake sensor. But that temperature should be fluctuating because if we look at the test that I did with the Samsung uh, 850, uh, the temperature does fluctuate. Another thing I want to add, because there's no software support from the official manufacturer itself, um, basically you, we lose, like Samsung gives me rapid mode, which boosts the SSD performance quite significantly. So um, I'm not sure, I, I, well, excuse me, I am sure. So I have a lot of PCIe devices and that may be bottlenecking my Samsung 850 Evo, but that's not my primary storage, it's just a secondary storage for other games and other applications. But you can see that my reads were also around 400, and my writes around 377, when I sh should be around 550 or up close to 550 reads, maxing out the SATA protocol or SATA 6. Um, and then my reads should be around 48500. Or excuse me, my reads 550, my writes 48500. Now, if I turn on the Samsung Magician Rapid Mode, you can definitely see a dramatic increase in read and write. Uh, Samsung's got their own special thing on boosting that, but you can't apply that to any other SSD. That's why each manufacturer has their own specific software and firmware to help you gain the best performance. Uh, but take a look at the temperature in this screenshot here. This one got a, to a high of 44 in the right here, idle 37. Uh, temperature at that time 43 and on the next one peak temperature of 46 um, idle temperature of 34 and then temperature around that time of 42 and then this is the idle temperature of the VASCII V800 40 40 40 same thing as it is now so that temperature reading is a little bit disconcerting only because uh, heat is bad for your electrical components, especially if you're on your SSD. The, the temperature issue could be a problem. So if it's, it's a very hot environment, your SSD is always cooking. I, I don't suspect you'll be throttling, but it can impact the longevity, which is a big factor uh, when considering this SSD. Uh, another factor is price. Uh, so I was able to get a decent price on it, but as of right now, as I showed you, the same ad that I used to buy it, um, the price has increased. Well, if that's $34 plus shipping, you could go to Newegg and get it for $32.99. Um, it looks like if you have Premier, you get faster shipping, but I think you're going to have to pay a decent price in, in shipping as well. Uh, but compared to alternatives uh, from brands you know, Team Group, uh, uh, Silicon Power, uh, Mushkin, uh, there's the Vashki again, but that's a $256 for $33.99 actually. Plexter, so on and so forth. Gigabyte's got their own SSDs now for around $37.99. Free shipping. So there you go. You pay less money and get a, uh, a little bit more space or capacity. And from a no manufacturer you can trust. Whether or not each of these manufacturers have their own you know, software and firmware to op optimize and get you the best performance uh, is yet to be determined. But as far as my use case, which this is just going to be... Um, and I know you can run your mining applications or mining OS's from a USB drive, right? So Minerstat, Simple Mining OS, Hive OS, so on and so forth, so many. Um, I want to use this SSD to install my 
operating system on, my regular Windows 10, uh, all my batch files, all my mining applications, uh, all my utilities, um, and this is just going to be for a mining rig. So in this use case, it'd be perfectly fine, but if I were you, I would go and get a comparable SSD from a known manufacturer. Even though, again, the components within this SSD is from SanDisk and probably a no manufacturer, it's a rebrand, and longevity and durability is what you're really concerned about. Uh, you know, how long is it going to last? Now, mining operations don't really utilize too much of the SSD. Uh, maybe when you have to increase your paging file, uh, you know, to 16 gigabytes and so on and so forth to, to optimize your mining. Uh, that's about the most of it. doesn't use too much of the SSD. You're not going to have a lot of writes and reads. Um, compared to normal day-to-day -day and gaming and and all that good stuff uh, so it would be good for a mining rig it would be good for a basic uh, gaming setup that you're throwing together and just want better performance than your normal platter hard drives um, and you definitely see a, a boost in speed especially if you do have a platter hard drive you're going to be upgrading now whether or not you want to wait for it to ship to you from Wish because it does take a while whether or not you want to be concerned about a vendor you're not too sure of or haven't heard of or it's not as well known as the key manufacturers uh, that's up to you but I hope that the information in this video helps shed some light and then you can make an informed decision which is the basis of this channel uh, before you head out do me a favor and hit the like button uh, definitely helps out the channel uh, comment below let me know if you do have this SSD how your performance been how long you've been using it any any information that can help the community out um, and your thoughts on whether you, if you don't have it, would you buy it? Or would you get it from a Norman, known manufacturer? And what manufacturer do you prefer? I prefer Samsung and Western Digital, especially the Western Digital Blue Series. Uh, I really do like those SSDs, cheap, uh, but good, decent durability, all that good stuff. And there's actually been tests out there. Uh, I don't have any information for you in this video, but there's actually been tests out there where they just read and write these SSDs all the time and see which one lasts the longest. And, a few of them have been crowned king, I guess you could say. Uh, but that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next one.